These are the top stories of the week. Microsoft gets tons of partners. Google AI just composed music. Elon Musk says some crazy shit, and everything else you need to know. Microsoft announced holograms for everyone. Well, sort of. The company is opening up Windows Holographic to a whole bunch of hardware makers. Windows Holographic is the version of Windows that powers Microsoft's HoloLens that lets people experience augmented reality with what Microsoft calls holograms. So who's partnering with Microsoft? On the processor side, you've got AMD, Intel, and Qualcomm. On the PC side, Microsoft has ASUS, Dell, HP, Lenovo, and others. These partnerships should lead to lots of mixed reality devices like the HoloLens. Microsoft's HoloLens would be like its Surface. So while it is competition for its own partners, the HoloLens will be on the higher end. Google's Project Magenta Artificial Intelligence Tech has just created music. Four piano notes were fed into a neural network. Then Project Magenta created a 90-second piano tune. The final version of the song features a drum track programmed by a human being. Right now, Magenta is still being developed. When it is stable, outside developers will be able to get their hands on Magenta through GitHub. There's a new alliance in tech. The European Commission and a group of tech giants have agreed to a code of conduct. The tech companies involved are Facebook, Twitter, Microsoft, and YouTube. The code of conduct is to stop the spread of illegal hate speech and terrorist material. The tech companies agreed that they will remove illegal hate speech in under 24 hours. All of the companies agreed to communicate with each other and government agencies. Let's pack in a lot more news, because it's time for rapid fire. Intel went nuts and introduced its first 10-core processor. It's a next-generation Broadwell E chip. Intel says the chip is for megataskers. The future National Museum of Comedy will feature holograms of comedians performing. This is the Pepper's Ghost variety of holograms, so think Tupac, now you got it. The museum opens up in 2017 in Jamestown, New York. According to Nikkei, the Apple iPhone will ship to a three-year cycle between major models. So the next iPhone will feel more like an iPhone 6S II than an iPhone 7. And Tesla and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk, speaking at the Code Conference, says he expects sending people to Mars as early as 2024. Musk also says there's a good shot we're all living in a simulation. Oh, one more thing. Tony Fidel is leaving Nest. He'll still serve as an advisor at Alphabet, though. Fidel headed up Nest for six years. Now you're all caught up in tech. To get your daily dose of tech news, check out cnet.com slash update. For a weekly dose, hit up cnet.com slash radar. I'm Ayaz Akhtar, signing off.